Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Stick to It for Repeat. I'm Helen and I'm doing a little catch up. I'm recording this. Today is Wednesday the 4th of October. I did start to do a Friday Sews last week but it all went wrong in editing so I'm re-recording and I wanted to get this up and hopefully it will be on YouTube today. So it's a roundup. I haven't done a huge amount. I've got the Knitting and Stitching show in London coming up in a couple of days, which I'm very excited about. So I will say something about that. But I'm going to start with my fail for the month of September. <laughs> so in my previous video, pretty sure it was my last one, I mentioned to you the Instagram challenge that was going on in September. And that was the So Safari 2023. And it's a new challenge and I was excited because if you remember it's an animal print based challenge and I had a couple of things. So I narrowed down my decision and decided to go with the Sophia trousers by telling the buttons from her Make It Simple book in the gorgeous Tiger Mountain fabric from Fabric Godmother. And I was doing really well and I was going to have it done and finished by the end of last week so I could enter the challenge in September. And then when I'd got as far as sewing them up something didn't sit well so they're looking gorgeous I don't know how well you'll see so I'm gonna have to put in a photo but I've got the majority of it done so um the pockets are in they're lovely inseam pockets and they went in first I've got the pockets I did the legs I did everything so with the Sophia it's an easy uh fold over the top to make the waistband and put your elastic in and then hem but when I got this far, I thought they looked a bit small. <laughs> so I thought before I bothered with my elastic and hemming, I would try them on. And I think you can already see where this is going. They do not fit. <laughs> they are way too small. Um, so I wasn't sure at first what I'd done wrong because I had the pattern um, in this pattern trace envelope I put a lot of my uh, patterns in when I've used them and the last time I made it I put on here that it was cut to size four and that I needed to add two inch to the length because they were slightly cropped now I'm about a five but I thought that I could get away with a four however when I looked at the pattern pieces again I think I don't know how well you'll be able to see um but I've actually cut out, there's two lines and then I've cut it out. So I've clearly cut out size three, which is two sizes smaller than I am. Hence why they don't fit. <laughs> so I think I remember now, oh dear. A couple of years ago, I was determined to lose some weight and I lost two stone. And obviously that changed my pattern sizing and being, <laughs> being productive, or proactive I should say I decided because I love these trousers so much that I would recut them in the smaller size ready for when I wanted to make them again brilliant except I didn't anticipate that that would be two years later when I'd put those two stone back on and so size three does not fit <laughs> so that was a fail for the so safari what I'm going to do because I love these is I'm going to pop them away I am currently back on Slimming World, so I am hoping they will fit next summer. But I just thought I'd let you know, in case you wondered what happened to my So Safari challenge, that's what happened. <laughs> so that was my fail. The next thing I want to show you was some fabric. Now, I know you're all shouting at the uh, screen right now that I said I wasn't going to buy fabric. And yet, I think the last two videos I've shown you fabric, which if you recall, were pre-orders. Two of these <laughs> are the final pre-orders from Fabric Heaven. You know I'm a big fan. And then the other fabrics I will tell you about after. So the two Fabric Heaven pre-orders that I received, which I had obviously ordered prior, so I have not bought fabric in September. Just thought I'd put that out there. I haven't. <laughs> this was pre-orders. This one is gorgeous, lightweight. It's a creamy coloured background. It's a directional print with these gorgeous multicolored flowers on there. It's a really lovely lightweight. I think I got two meters of this. And so I think I'll pop it away because as you can see, 
it is now autumn <laughs> and it's a bit chilly. So I think I'll pop this away for next summer. Um, but yeah, I picked that one up and it's going to be a gorgeous, I think, lightweight blouse when I start sewing for summer again, which hopefully next year we might get a slightly warmer summer. So that was the first one. And then the other pre-order that I received which I received slightly later is a heavier weight this is like a uh, oh you know me and my fabric types it's a cotton but it's like in between um it's not quite as heavy as a quilting cotton and it's got quite a nice drape and it's this fab are they hexagonal yes hexagons in these really lovely aquas blues oranges that sort of greeny yellow really loved this when I saw this on her um, website and again oh I may have got no I think I got two meters of that one as well so those are my final pre-orders so as I say the plan was not to buy new fabrics in September because of going to the knitting and stitching this coming weekend so I didn't one thing I did buy was some buttons and I'm not sure how well they'll show so I may have to Oh, in fact, they won't show because they're in these funny um, packets that you can't see through. But the wonderful uh, So Anonymous had a, a post on their Instagram or a reel on their Instagram about this company called Brothers Make. And they use recycled plastics and make these amazing buttons. I'm going to have to put the photos in because you can't see. I love the idea of using up the plastics for something and having this gorgeous button product at the end. So I bought three packets of these. I bought the, and I will pop in photos so you can see, Jungle Haze, and I got, there is two, four, six, eight, ten <laughs> in each of these packets. I got the Cadbury Swirl, and I got the Solar Flare. So I have ten of um, each of those colours and I just think it's really great that this company are making them from recycled plastics that would go to waste. So do go and check them out. Also, I will link, as well as their details, I will link So Anonymous and everything I talk about in my description below. So the fabric I wanted to share with you, which I did not buy and I did not pre-order. So, hmm. <laughs> so my husband went to Virginia in America. He went to a place called Charlottesville for work. And he said to me, anything you want me to get? And I said, well, I wonder if there's any fabric shops nearby. I was half joking, <laughs> but then I saw his hotel details come through and the address and so I thought I'd have a look and honestly it was a stone's throw from this fabulous shop again I will link below because I do know that some of you watching are based out there in the states so you can order they do online or in person and my husband said the shop was gorgeous and that I'd have loved it it's called U Fibers and I have got the lovely postcard they gave my husband there. You can follow them on Instagram. And obviously they have a website and they have a physical shop. So like I say, I will put the details before um, in my description. And I sent my husband a variety of the fabrics I saw on the website. And I said, I'll give you all these because that way, hopefully one of them will be able. So if you could get me one of these fabrics... I would absolutely love you forever. He knows that. Fabric is the way to my heart. So he got me three. Yay. <laughs> so I'm going to go through. The first two are Nanny Iro double gauzes. They're very different to ours. So I'm not 100% sure what they're made of. In fact, they don't seem like double gauze at all, actually. They seem more like cottons. If anyone is any wiser, please do let me know. He got me two metres and I'm hoping this will show, if not I'll put in a photo, of this gorgeous, very summery with the lemon flowers and I think those blues are like, a, to me they're like, I don't know if you can see that blue, like a bird and they've got orange, lemon and green. I know I'm making a hash of holding this up so I may have to put in a photo. So he got me two metres of that gorgeous one. Again, clearly that's going away until next summer and then this one I love this in the um bottom here it says 
And it says Naomi Iro Textile, Nani Iro, made in Japan. So I don't know if that's Naomi is the, the range they did, but it's got that. And this one's gorgeous. Again, it's a very creamy off white, but then it's got these, hopefully you can see, orange flowers all over it. And I just thought that was really lovely. Again, very summery. I'm pinning my hopes on a nice summer next year. Again, I'll probably pop in photos because I'm not doing a very good job of holding these up, am I? <laughs> and then the last one he got me was a Robert Kaufman. And it's like, I'll have to look up the description because you know me, I'm rubbish. I'm not sure. I'm waffling. Anyway, it's a much heavier weight. And I'm thinking like dungarees or a um a dress of some sort this one is much more seasonally appropriate and he got me three meters of this and it's this gorgeous one here so hopefully you can see it's like a gray background and then it has black gray and these sort of creamy colored flowers all over absolutely love it so it kind of feels like denim i will look it up because i'm aware that i'm not telling you what it is but it is a robert calvin i'm pretty sure of that and it is lovely and I just think gosh well originally I thought maybe a dungarees then I thought maybe a jumpsuit or maybe a dress honestly that's why um I did say if he got this one to get three meters and he did so I absolutely love he sent me photos of them when he bought them so I was very excited to see him when he came home I said you know lovely to see you but where are my fabrics <laughs> so so as I say, I'll show you again, that's called U Fiber, and I will link their details below and they're based in Charlottesville in Virginia, America. So last thing I want to talk about is the knitting and stitching show that I'm going to with Angela this weekend. Now I talked to you before about uh, what I was hoping to do for it and I was talking about making a uh, plain tote with a slogan on something about sewing but when I was having a clear out the other day because uh long story but our washing machine broke and we had to make room and stuff so I was rearranging stuff I found a unfinished project from I want to say it's I'm pretty sure it's 2019 <laughs> when I used to go to a wonderful bag retreat held in Wales and that was the last one I managed to go to and I made two bags fully and I started this third one so I'm hoping I'm starting on it as soon as I finish recording this to finish this and I'm hoping you can see how fabulous this is you may or may not recognize I know if Adam's watching me he will know of course this is the wonderful Tula pink fabrics can't remember exactly what this one's called I'll look it up and so it's got the ladies faces there in this gorgeous purple and black background and then a different ladies face on that side I've got fair amount of it done I'm just looking at the instructions I was a very organized lady and I ticked as I went along so I know exactly where I'm starting this is a pattern called the bucket tote and it is by Sewing Patterns by Mrs H. Again, I will link below. So I have done the majority. I just need to do things like the straps and the inside. I have everything here because the wonderful thing they did when I used to go to Bag Retreat is So Hot, uh, which again, I'll link their shop, used to do a kit for the bags that you would be making at the retreat. So you could order them ahead and I would pick them up then when you got there and you could make everything you needed obviously you had your own fabrics but it would have all the hardware and interfacing that you needed for bag making and I don't know if you can see but this is quite a sturdy bag so there's a lot of different interfacing going on in this bag so yeah my plan is to finish this and if you are going to knitting and stitching or if you see my photos afterwards the reason I think this would be perfect as well is the colours are um very similar to what I have planned to wear on the day so yeah that's it so I'm quite excited I've got to get on with that like I say because it is now Wednesday and I'm catching the train to London on Friday so and I'm getting my nails redone tomorrow and thinking black possibly or black and purple for obvious reasons and um, yes yeah, so I've got to get on with that I will edit this and hopefully get it up today I have 
been popping my fabrics onto Stash Hub and so I'm all up to date with that. I have to admit, as I say, it's now the 4th of October, I have today ordered some fabric. So no fabric bought in September, but I bought some today, which if you have seen the latest video from my lovely friends, the Northern Soul Sisters, you will know what fabric I've bought. Not the colour, because there's about 22 different ones, but you'll know what I've bought. And um, when I receive that and I'm back from the knitting stitching and I've got things to show you, I will tell you all about it. So that's it for now. Uh, I hope you are managing to get some sewing or something sewing related done. And I will catch you all in my next video. Thank you.